Yeah, I know today's Christmas, but I wanted to hit y'all up with a topic. This one came up to me recently. I think this is super important with regard to care management, especially in the ICUs, sometimes in the ER, I don't know. I mean, you hospitalists can probably get something from it too if you want. But the biggest thing I want to talk about is the management of your DNR, DNI. Family's kind of in between about comfort, but they are fucked up. Okay, so like, let's say you got somebody very hyperkalemic, you're talking six, seven, you know that they're going to have an arrhythmia, there's not a question. Family's not ready for comfort care. Um, you know, you, you see them, they're acidotic, creatinine is in a shitter, GFR, poop, not pissing, but you know, maintaining well blood pressures really don't need any vasopressors. Um, I think the biggest thing to remember is not to write these patients off. Too many times I've seen other uh, providers, it doesn't matter what they are, uh, kind of write it off and just be like, well, that is what it is, man, they're going to die. Yeah, I get that, but sometimes you can at least manage that patient, maybe maintain them for a little bit, give that family that time to really think about it. It's hard, even being a DNR, DNI, you know as well as I do, families don't uh, you know, oh, there's an arrhythmia. Oh shit, they're about to die. What do you want to do? <gasps> Crack his chest, push in the chest, whatever. In that moment, they, they don't know any better. You know, like they're scared, they're worried. They didn't get to make that decision to make them comfort yet. I think it's very big that, you know, you, you try to still maintain that in a critical aspect. Um, you know, give them the IV insulin. It, if they're on a sodium bicarb drip, cool if it works great doesn't always you can still give them you know your calciums you can still uh you know try to cause it intracellular shifts of your potassium you know um are they acidotic whatever do they need hydration um you know obviously you're not going to do vasopressors they're not going to do some stuff unless they want to you know if they want to manage a hypotension okay cool like it may not work you know if you can't get that potassium out because let's say they don't want to do crrt okay they want to do dialysis okay i think that's all right you know what i mean you can only really cause that that cellular shift so much um but it's all for comfort really because you don't want that person to go into arrhythmia immediately if you can try to maintain them put them on a bipap you know try to change um hyperventilate them you know hyperventilation with uh hyperkalemic and you know at least decrease a little bit Give them an hour long out butyrol treatment. I know some of y'all fucking say it doesn't work, but it is. If it's an hour, it does something better than nothing, right? Um, you know, try to try to take care of the patient the way that you would, but like uh, softly. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't go above and beyond what the family isn't ready for. But don't just write that patient off. I think that's such bad fucking care, man. Like, just understand that. Your job as a provider, man, is, is to still try and save that person within the means of what is given to you. If they don't want to do extreme measures, great, cool, that's okay, like you don't have to. But I don't know, I think the idea of like we forget that medicine can still be treated even at minimal levels is something that is fucking blows my mind. You know, when I started out in the prison, I didn't have anything, you know, and I treated a lot of shit that probably should have been in a hospital, but we didn't have the means at the time. You know, you could say during COVID and shit, um, you know, I saved a lot of lives that should have died. I mean, let's just be honest, like for sure. I mean, you know, doing shit on the blocks that you never seen, but it, to me it was what needed to be done. Like, I, you know, you only had so much to work with, but there's so much you can do in that window. And I, I just think that's very important, you know, especially this time of year with the holidays and shit, it kind of makes me think like, try to give some family some some time try to help them think about it you know and during the time that you're trying to manage it educate them hey this is what might happen this is what could happen their levels are showing this we're just waiting for an arrhythmia to happen whatever you know the, the kidneys are going to shut down completely at some point regardless i don't know i just think that uh you know understanding that maybe just might help you in general be a better provider i know i try to always educate myself on this stuff and look at things better and I appreciate you guys listening to me. And um, I hope this kind of helps at least maybe somebody just look at things maybe a little differently. So appreciate y'all. Merry Christmas.